and welcome to this week's edition of Chesapeake Weekly. Chesapeake Public Schools unveiled new technology aimed at keeping kids safe when they get on and off the bus. They're stop arm cameras, and if you dare to put a child's life at risk by passing a school bus, you will be getting a ticket. Well, there, there are multiple cameras that have been installed on the bus by our vendor. Our vendor is Bus Patrol uh, that we've gone into an agreement with. They do have uh, a box on the side that houses seven stop arm cameras, and then there are additional cameras inside the bus and on the exterior of the bus that will capture students as they're loading and unloading as part of the legislation. That's just additional documentation if necessary to show that the bus was actively picking up or dropping off students. It's actually not computer related. We actually record every single school bus stop and then that goes to a team of reviewers and they actually watch every clip of video, a live human being, they find the violations and then it goes to a second level and those are our processors and they make sure a violation has actually occurred. They put together the evidence pack that goes to local law enforcement here in Chesapeake, the city of Chesapeake, the police department here, and they actually are the ones that decide whether it was a violation or not a violation. So it goes through several layers. We're actually looking at uh, putting them on every, every bus. Uh, some school divisions just do a portion, uh, but we're gonna do all of our buses and uh, we've gotten some estimates on some revenue that could come from this. Our ultimate hope is that the violations will go down uh, significant, significantly because we want to make sure our community is aware and our students are safe and that they're paying attention. But um, the funding that we do receive from the violations will help fund technology and replacement buses for our school division. Let's have a quick reminder about when you have to stop for school buses in the state of Virginia. On a two-lane roadway, all directions must stop when the bus stops. Same for a multi-lane roadway. The only time you do not have to stop is if you're going the opposite direction of the bus on a divided highway that has a physical barrier of some sort, like a grassy median or a concrete divider. And even then, you should proceed with caution. It's always better to err on the side of being cautious than to put a child's life at risk. If you've ever lived through the panic of having a pet run away, you know there's nothing you wouldn't do to find them. But would it cross your mind to check in with Chesapeake Animal Services? Well, it should because they just might have found them first. So if you find yourself missing your pet, whether it's a dog, a cat, a ferret, hamster, whatever it is, um, definitely go out and look for it. Um, coming down to the shelter is definitely a priority. A lot of lost pets find their ways to us here at the shelter at 2100 South Military Highway. Um, there's a lot of Facebook pages. So Lost and Found Pets Hampton Roads is one that is really um, heavily utilized by the public. Um, and they post on there when they found pets, when they've lost pets. So either way, if you're looking for your lost pet or if you found one, posting on there is a great idea as well. Find pictures of strays that they have picked up at the shelter, plus information on keeping your pet safe at cityofchesapeake.net slash animal services. Black History Month started off with a bang at the Central Library with a West African drum class. Take a look. To me, it means unity. You know, you have a whole bunch of different meanings, but when people come together and you have drums, people from different backgrounds, it unites, unite a whole bunch of rooms and different cultures just with the drums. Anybody could take the class. Um, we've done classes for the babies. I've done classes for three-year-olds, and I've done classes for elders as well. Apart from the cultural aspect, there's also the physical aspect. Drumming is very physical. You get a nice workout with your arms, and then on the, it's also mental workout too. You got stress or whatever. You pick up the drum, you play it, and sometimes you feel better. Me, myself, I deal with my injury, and sometimes I be in a lot of pain, and picking up the drum and drumming is what makes me feel better than any medicine in the world. So when I was younger, I was living in Brooklyn, and my mother 
put me and my brother and sister in a program at the time that did African drumming, dance, martial arts. And then for me, the drum just stuck out to me. And it was like, I always envisioned myself doing as I get older. And then after I got injured, I just, Drum, 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 yes. <laughs> there are more opportunities throughout the month to participate in the West African Drum Class, as well as dozens of other great library events to celebrate Black history. Find those events and everything you need to know about your library at infopeak.org. If you're the type of person who runs towards emergencies to help out, then you should consider joining the Chesapeake Emergency Response Team. This group of volunteers serves as an extra set of hands when first responders aren't immediately available. They also work to educate the public on disaster preparedness. It does require some training, though, and a new class starts this month. You just don't show up and become a volunteer for CERT. You have to, we, we have two classes a year, one in the spring and one in the fall. They're seven weeks long, meeting every Tuesday and Thursday for a couple hours. Uh, we have our own training team that provides the training. And then we have, uh, we have an index drill on the last Saturday and they go through the drill and that's kind of when they've graduated class, they get a certificate and they get their pack and uh, we, we make sure they have their skills that are capable of doing right. it. What kind of person do you think makes the good CERT team member? I know you've only been doing it for a couple months, I think. Uh, you know, just somebody that loves their city. Uh, somebody that, you know, they, they, are, they definitely want you to pass a background check. Uh, so make sure that you love your city and that you want to be able to give back and help out with in the uh, chance that we have any kind of disaster or help out with activities because we also do other things around the city as well other than just a disaster response. Uh, but anybody fresh out of high school or who's retired and looking for something, to, a way to give back and get more involved now they've okay. left their job. So we, we've got uh, different positions for every, all ages. The next CERT training starts on Tuesday, February 25th. Learn more about the program and sign up to attend the trainings at cityofchesapeake.net slash fire and click on search on the menu on the left. The 2020 Chesapeake Recycles Day calendar is out and this year they're hosting an additional event at a new location, Hickory High School. The events start as early as March 21st. Now remember that this free event allows you to properly dispose of your household hazardous waste, electronics and sensitive documents for shredding. Get all the information you need at cityofchesapeake.net slash recycles day. Lots of fun events coming up this week. First up, happy Valentine's Day this Friday. Grab your Valentine or just a couple of friends to enjoy a wine tasting that supports the Grape Ridge Battlefield and Waterways History Foundation. That event starts at 6.30 at the museum. Get your tickets at gbbattlefield.org. Then wake up Saturday morning and take a walk around Deep Creek Lock Park from 10 to noon as part of the Great Backyard Bird Count Walk. This worldwide effort helps to identify the distribution of birds. Dress for the weather and if you have them, bring your own binoculars. For more information, call 382-1359 or visit cityofchesapeake.net slash PRT. And later that evening, head down to the Northwest River Park for the monthly Skywatch event from 5 to 11 p.m. The Back Bay Amateur Astronomers will help you check out the night sky while learning how to use a telescope. This event is weather dependent, so be sure to call 421-7151 to confirm that it's taking place just in case the weather looks a little iffy. And of course, next Monday is George Washington Day, meaning all city offices, courts, libraries, and community centers will be closed. The Chesapeake Visitor Center on Progressive Drive will remain open, as will all parks. The holiday hours will not affect trash or recycling collection. Everything will return to normal operating hours on Tuesday, February 18th. Thank you so much for joining us for this edition of Chesapeake Weekly. We'll see you next week.